Hello all, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to discuss about how to set up a ESXi home lab with ESXi installation and a vCenter installation. It's 6.0. So the minimum requirements you are aware, so you can get it from the description. So first we have to mount the image. CD is mounted and you have to select enter. Then the binary file will be loading. So the files will be loading for the installation. So once it is started, you will get the screen like this. You have to enter continue. F11 to accept the end user license agreement. Then it will take some time to scan image once it is done you have to select the hard drive press enter to continue select the language and enter to continue then you have to provide the root password this is the ESX root password and continue once it is initiated you will be getting the screen scanning the option so once it is done, you have to click F11 to install. So from here onwards, it will start the installation process. It will take some couple of minutes. Once it is installed, you have to remove the image and enter to reboot. So once the image is rebooted, the ESX server is rebooted. So you will be able to see the screen. So click F2 to customize your ESX server like IP address, VLAN, DNS. So provide the root and the root password. Then go to the VLAN option and set the VLAN if required. Then you have to go for the IPv4 settings and you have to set the static IP. So click the static IP. Then give the IP address, subnet and default gateway. Then you have to give the DNS static DNS entry. You are ready server DNS IP you have to give the IP you have to give then click escape and uh, it is so your it will restart the management network so once it is done you will be able to see the IP address is configured and you can use this for the connecting the VC, uh, uh, host so next is how to install the v, uh, vCenter so download the image mount it and in the drive we have to go to the setup so here you will get the option for install it will open in a web so you have to add the exception on then click on install accept the end user license agreement next provide the ESXi host where we need to provide host this vCenter appliance so it is 192.168.24.5 I provide the root and the username of the password of the ESXi host then click next then it will ask for the certificate for and accept yes Then provide the appliance name. The appliance name is whatever we need VCSA or VCA. We can give then provide the root password for the appliance. So the appliance password you have to give. Then 
so here we can select install the vCenter in embedded so it will consist of the uh, PSC as well as vCenter in one or we can go with the PSC one and we have to go with vCenter different vCenters so here I am going with the embedded one then create a new SSO domain so I am creating a new SSO domain I will provide the password so this is for the uh, administration so administrator to use default and the password you have to give and SSO domain name also you have to give so SSO domain name I am giving my domain .com. and SSO site name is VCSA so I am giving the name of the appliance now you have to select the appliance size so previous to we are going back so there are different type tiny small medium large so I'm selecting tiny because I have only that much uh, so, uh, pro hardware then thin, thin uh, provisioning so thin disk mode then I'll go to the embedded database I'm using the auto secondary oracle then I will choose the network settings so I have, we have to provide the appliance network so it is IPv4 then static then we have to give the network address for what is the IP address for the appliance and uh, you can give the F FQDN or the IP address that according to your convenience you can go and the subnet mask the network gateway and the DNS so the time synchronization you can synchronize with the ESX so IP was provided then you have to click finish then it will start the installation of the appliance so it will take some time like uh, some minutes then this is a uh, login uh, username is this one and uh, this is a link so copy this link and uh, we can access via the vSphere client as we are using 6.0 so you are providing the IP address and my username and the password which I provided ignore So it will take some time for uh, configuring so it, uh, click ok because mine is evaluation license now we will create a data center give the name for the data center so once it is created then create a cluster provide the cluster name so here we can configure the HA and DRS so I'm not configuring because uh, so I'm just simply just con configuring the cluster because it's my lab then add a host so here we are adding the ESX host provide the host IP or the host FQDN so I'm giving the host IP and I'll give the credentials root and the password then click next accept as yes. next 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 then finish so it will take some time to connect to the vCenter So once it is connected, uh, it will populate the VMs. So this is the same host which uh, where the our appliance is host. So you can see the VCSA and one server. So this is a uh, demonstration for the lab. So thank you. So 
uh, I'm future I'm going to do a video for the 6.5 and uh, 6.7 so please subscribe share and like my videos thank you